Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show live, large and in charge on this Tuesday morning. Now, today is a very important day, 2018 World Food Day. And while almost 14 million people face the threat of hunger in South Africa, the United Nations has shown that a zero-hunger world is possible by 2030, but only if we come together and take responsible action from today. Now, this year, Woolworths is stepping up their game and they're challenging and uh, launching a, a brand new campaign, One Small Spoon, that's what it's called, and they aim to unite their employees, customers, suppliers, farmers and other partners to fight hunger and ensure that every South African has access to sufficient, nutritious food every day. And we're joined this morning by a full force on the couch of experts, if you will, including UNICEF's Alison Feely, Food Forward Essays, Andy Duplessis and Woolworth South Africa's Zinzi Ngolotela. All of, here, all of them are here to join in the conversation on how we can stand united against hunger. Thank you very much Thank for being here. Me. So, Alison, I'll start off with you first, and maybe you could explain the uh, food security situation from a South African context, especially when we look at hunger and nutrition, which are a real threat uh, in our country. Sure, thank you very much for the opportunity. So, let's first define what food security is. Yes. It's about all people having access to safe and nutritious foods mm -hmm. to meet their dietary requirements. And on the other hand, food insecurity is when people are undernourished and they're not able to access food or they, there's not enough food available to meet their dietary requirements. Mm -hmm. Now, South Africa, on a national level, looks like a food secure country. However, that's not the case for most households across the country. Mm -hmm. Around 22% of individuals cannot afford enough food to meet their basic requirements. Wow. And so that's where Woolworths then steps in, Zinzi, with this brand new campaign, uh, Woolworths One Small Spoon campaign. Tell me about uh, how exactly it, it, it works and what it is that you're doing. Um, as you would know, Woolworths is a foods um, a business. And therefore, as a foods business, we take our responsibility to really address the issues of food security very seriously. And the campaign really is a call for action. We're really um, um, engaging our partners like mm -hmm. UNICEF, Food Forward, mm -hmm. and other initiatives that we're doing, as well as um, uh, our colleagues and um, farmers mm -hmm. and suppliers to really take action and, and gun around this uh, challenge, this food security mm -hmm. challenge. So um, as uh, our customers will start seeing this one small spoon in a lot of our products and mm -hmm. some of our products in stores. And when you see that, you need to know that Willis is taking that extra, smi uh, extra mile mm -hmm. to really address the issues of um, food security. Yeah. And when you talk about engaging your partners, your suppliers, your customers, and we'll be seeing this beautiful logo on Willis products, what, what does it mean in terms of you know, stepping up to the plate and helping uh, South Africa become a more food secure country? I think um, the One Small Spoon campaign, first and foremost, is a conscious and awareness creation yeah. um, initiative. I think we all have as individuals an, op a, a, a an opportunity to make a difference. Yeah. Just in our households, how we, you know, manage our waste and also how we can start, you know, growing gardens and start sharing with other people who are yeah. food insecure. Yeah. Uh, but over and above that, Woolies um, is putting a lot of effort in raising uh, funds as well as, you know, partnering with the likes of UNICEF, Food Forward, and the Ecuplant uh, with Food and Trees for Africa mm. Ecuplant program, where we really help um, uh, children to start learning skills to grow their own nutritious food. Mm -hmm. I think UNICEF's um, partnership also is amazing because it looks at the nutritious side of uh, food security because it's one thing to have food but it's another to make sure that that food is nutritious yeah and food forward initiative um i think partnership also is amazing because it starts to challenge us as retailers and everybody in the value chain food value chain to make sure that we can use the waste and I think excess food, yes. more than waste, excess food more responsibly. Yeah, and I guess that's one of the scary statistics, Andy, the fact that, if I understand correctly, apparently a third, almost a third of the food that is produced in the country ends up in landfills. In Absolutely, a shocking wow. statistic in our country. Um, roughly 10 million tons of food is dumped in landfills, and we're talking good quality, edible surplus food that's just surplus in the supply chain because of a number of inadequacies, such as over-ordering, incorrectly labelled goods, and close to short, short dated stock. So those goods are, are dumped in landfills and we're saying no 
instead of dumping that in landfills, we have, a, we have two challenges. One, we have an environmental challenge, but also, more importantly, we have a food security challenge. And so we are taking edible surplus food, we're recovering it from the supply chain, and then we're redistributing that in two ways. Mm -hmm. One is via what we call traditional food banking, and we are trucks and we've got branches across the country. We go to distribution centers of all the major wholesalers, retailers, manufacturers. So Woolworths, Pick and Pay, ShopRite, Checkers, Food Lovers Market. Our trucks will go and fetch 100 tons, 200 tons, 300 tons, sometimes sure. 500 tons of food. And then um, we redistribute that food to 600 registered nonprofit organizations that provide meals to 250,000 people, mostly children. The second is via uh, a, a, a virtual food banking, which is a, a digital platform we create two years ago. Mm -hmm. And what we do there is we're linking beneficiary organizations to the closest participating retail store Excellent. for the regular collection of food and some of our food outlets, Vida E Cafe, for example. All of them have surplus food. And instead of dumping that in landfill, yeah. we say we'll come and recover that food and we'll virtually connect beneficiary organizations so we connect a world of excess to a world of need using this food banking model. That's absolutely brilliant. And Alison, tell me about the, the, the pilot that you have running with uh, Woolworths. Well, we're very excited about this pilot project, actually. And what we aim to do is capacitate the volunteer food handlers who prepare mm -hmm. the foods for children okay. going to school. So the government has rolled out a, a, a school feeding program that reaches about 12 million learners. But what we want to do is try and capacitate those women and men who provide the food to improve the nutritional value of the food. Yeah. Um, and this helps us reach more children through Woolworths, and it helps us alleviate hunger and malnutrition. Yeah. And so, Zinzi, at the end of the day, how can I and the many Woolies customers out there get involved? Apart from the, the consciousness uh, in how you handle your food and how you waste food in your own household, keep swiping. When you swipe in my school card um, at Woolworths, um, you must know you, you're contributing to funds to address some of the challenges that have been uh, uh, highlighted here. Yeah, well, thank you very much for joining us on this very, very important day. And, of course, together, all of our combined small spoons will help, help to combat hunger across the country. So commit to the One Small Spoon campaign. Reduce your own food waste. Share a meal. Support others to grow their own food. And, of course, share your inspiring stories using hashtag One Small Spoon. You can go to www.woolworths.co.za forward slash One Small Spoon to find out more. And remember to also sign up for your free My School, My Village, My Planet card and swipe for Food Forward uh, that is, uh, SA. Plus, of course, look out for the specially marked One Small Spoon products that are in store. Once again, thank you very much. Thank, thank you for having us.